Uh, Pantera wrote in, Fezzi, that you forgot the mock executions that they do there in Iraq where they tell you that they're going to kill you. Then they shoot blanks at you, put oh. you back in the cell to save it for another day to actually kill you. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> That's awful. They also had this thing called a casket prison, which they say victims are held in coffin-like rectangular steel boxes all day, and they're allowed out for a half hour each day. All right. <coughs> Here's the weird thing, though. Why hasn't this ever come up before? Why didn't we say, oh, my God. I mean, I'm sure he just didn't start doing this thing recently. We had the guy in 91. Sure. The yeah. same guy who's doing all these things. I'm sure he hasn't changed his methods any. <laughs> now we've got to drive back all the way over there. And what's sad is we have to hear it from the British. We have to get it from them. It's not even us but this out. Now, they actually have one person, one official, Iraqi official. His occupation is professional rapist. Or in their language, violator of women's honor. Billy could have that position. <laughs> How do you get that job? Chief molester. Billy, if things don't work out for you in radio, you're going to Iraq. Finally, your experience pays off. Please list everything and every girl's name on the resume. No, son. He can send it right out. <coughs> Oh, God. Billy tried to get himself out of a hole tonight and ended up in the center of the earth. <laughs> Billy, would you be interested in going to Iraq? I am not going to Iraq. They have a job for violator of women's honor. They need to fill that position in the Iraqi government. I rooster writes in that they also have the mock batch. Billy spanks over them and then finishes on his big orange shirt. <laughs> You know, if it would help us beat Hussein, I would do anything. But I'm not going to go over there and molest women in uh, for for Sodom, for God's sake. You're saving that for the American gals. <laughs> Which was not a reality. There was no molestation involved. Billy came home from World War II and dipped a passed out woman in Times Square. <laughs> <laughs> Grabbed her under his shirt in Times Square. He dipped himself into a passed out woman. <laughs> That's the picture he wants. All right, Billy, here's the, uh, the, where you actually said that you did this, and we're turning this over to the uh, DA as soon as we possibly can. Out of all the horrible things you've done in your life, that's the one you feel the most guilty about? Well, that molesting a girl who was passed out. How old were you? Related? Now? No. Uh, I was in my late 20s. Late 20s? Yeah. How old was she? 15? No. Eight? She was, her brother trusted me to drive her home. and. <laughs> so, <laughs> what did you do? He pulled over. Yeah, just kind of took off all her clothes and stuff. and whipped oh. all her Stripped clothes. her? Stripped her. Yeah, she was like semi-conscious and stuff. Just did a little diddling. All right, you'll remember that from September 16th uh, earlier this year. Now, tonight, Billy turns it around and tells us a whole different story. Look, I was late. I was in my late 20s with a chemical imbalance. You know, it's, it's it, 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 it was just We're something small that right. happened. We're lucky you didn't chop off her head and bowl with it. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> You shouldn't agree with him on that. Well, no. I mean, uh, that would be really, really bad. Way, this was A grateful country would love to thank you, Billy. And give you that trip to Iraq. <laughs> to be violator of women's honor. You know, when it comes to Iraqi women, if uh, you know, if that would be for good for the country, I'd definitely violate Iraqi women. You would rape Iraqi women? If the if my if my president ordered me as, you know, you know, called me up and drafted me. <laughs> and this was my assignment, you know, I would do whatever our Commander-in-Chief asked me to. Yes, you'll show up anywhere where you hear the word draft. <laughs> you're right there. If there's a draft, you're in, right? You got it. So you honestly wait next to your phone for the president? Well, because we... We need you to rape Iraqi innocent women, by the way. You well, know, there's no such a thing as an innocent Iraqi woman. If Why? They, no, if they if we go to war with Iraq, they're all our enemy. What about the people that have been suppressed by him all this time? The people we're that are, actually the whole point here is we're going there to free them. Yes. Right. So they'll probably turn on him and I probably won't have to go over there and rape anybody. What? Now, are you writing letters to the president telling him that you're ready to do this? No, of He's course not. He's writing it in spunk. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President, another spunk letter. Billy, no, uh, no war ever comes up where we need somebody to rape women. Here's our secret weapon. Bad 
has Billy Staples. And look, he's got those Iraqi women on the run. Oh, Billy. All right, Chicken Hawk wants to know what drugs is Billy lacking this time? <laughs> oh, no, he's our new uh, weapon for national defense, the Spunkinator. We're dropping over Iraqi borders. Kerry, you're on Iran Fez. Hey, Ron. Hey, Fez. Hi, baby. All right, Billy, you freaking retard. If you go and rape any woman, even Iraqi women, how is that going to make, like, any Iraqis or anybody over there like Americans? They're going to hate Americans even more. It has nothing to do with my personal beliefs. They if won't want to date us, I know that. If my commander-in-chief, if I'm drafted into the services and this is what I'm told to do, are they, uh, I will do it for my country. Are they uh, drafting 44-year-old bloated guys now? <laughs> I hope not. Paint Nimitz across his chest and send him over. You got a gray sweatshirt? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know what? Any Iraqi woman is going to sweep through whatever Billy gives them anyway. Well, that's not nice. All uh, right, thank you very much, Carrie. You're welcome. All right, you're going to have to stand up a little bit better under fire if we send you to Iraq. Listen, you give them a Percocet, two Vicodin, and a couple of beers, and the panties drop. That's Billy's way of dating. <laughs> Billy's style of dating. <laughs> the burkas come right off. We'll take a break. We'll be right back. Run a fez. Run a fez. 1027 WMEW.